The FBI have obtained a warrant from a US judge to raid the offices of the president's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, in an attempt to find evidence of a payment the lawyer made to a porn star. Just think about that for a moment. For a start, making payments to porn stars such as Stormy Daniels is not an offence, nor for that matter is having sex with one, and yet an American judge signed off on the warrant allowing the FBI to do this. Robert Mueller has once again far exceeded the limits to which he is permitted to operate within US law, which has been fundamentally violated by obtaining the confidential records of any person from the office of their lawyer. And now, Mueller's investigation is digging through all of them. And it's very clear why. This is an admission by Mueller that during the last 12 months of an investigation into alleged connections between the Trump presidential campaign and Russia has found nothing at all. Zero. Zip. Jack shit. So he is shaming the whole system by trying to find evidence that the president paid a porn star in an effort to stop her from revealing they once had sex, which was apparently many years ago and long before he had been elected to anything at all. And she's not Russian either. In fact, being Russian isn't a crime in America, yet. Being a porn star isn't either. Nor is having sex with one, or for that matter paying one. Collusion isn't a crime either. Collusion is nothing. Collusion is, let's go to the pub tonight but don't tell Bob. Unless, of course, you are a Trump-hating liberal judge, and then maybe it is, so a warrant can be issued. Corrupt, sleazy, slimy, self-serving Democrats. Disgraceful. But Democrats and Mueller don't care about you, or the law. They just need to find something, anything at all, to justify the millions of taxpayer dollars they have spent on trying to remove a democratically and legally elected president, whether you like him or not. Presumably they've ruled out assassination for the time being. This is the Democrat way. This is the Obama and Clinton way. What will Mueller and the FBI do next? Look forward to an armed raid on President Trump's doctor's surgery to violate his medical records and try to find out what? Something? Anything? Whatever happened to attorney-client privilege ensuring a citizen can speak freely with legal representation without fear of those conversations or advice being used against them? How would you like the FBI storming your doctor's surgery to try and find out you suffer AIDS or had an abortion? This is a disgrace. Robert Mueller is a danger to democracy and to Western civilization. I wouldn't be surprised to find out he converted to the Muslim faith with Obama and the Clintons many years ago. And don't just think this is America. What happens in American political corruption happens here in London next. It always does, apart from the assassinations. For now. Some people have concluded Robert Mueller is taunting Trump with this action in an attempt to intimidate him. I don't. I think Mueller is desperate. He has found nothing and is under pressure to correct that. He may even be in fear of his own life if he doesn't get something the Democrats can use. Because they are hoping to find out Donald Trump has done something wrong or has knowledge that somebody else has done something wrong and has discussed this at some point with his attorney. They don't know what. They just hope there is something, and in any normal criminal investigation, this action alone would be regarded as such severe prosecutorial misconduct that any subsequent case brought before a judge would be summarily dismissed at the first moment. Unless, of course, if the judge you take the case to is a Trump-hating liberal like the one who issued the warrant in the first place, in which case hearings can be held. The confiscated documents will already have been scanned and shared with other security agencies by now, no doubt leaked to the press too which may have been the main reason in the first place. The FBI have clearly gone rogue and it's beginning to feel like a coup attempt in America. However, Donald Trump is not stupid, despite what Facebook is telling you, and nor is his lawyer. But Robert Mueller might be, and he might have just walked into a trap. Because if he doesn't find something the Democrats can use to try and impeach the president, then his days are numbered. Possibly in more ways than one. This has been Albert Jack with The Jack Report, with a view from London.